every personal trainer in Dubai for work legal should be registered in the REPS physical community in Dubai. Hi my beautiful and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna tell you all my fitness journey. Ready? Let's go. When I just born, even my mom told me I couldn't walk, but I already could run. <laughs> I was always super active, love everything new, and in that time it was everything. From my preschool, I was doing different activities, a lot of dancing, karate, judo. I was going some marathons, a lot, a lot of activities. Everything what was active and new, I was trying it all. Age from eight to ten, I didn't do anything actually, like only school activities physical training class that's it when I changed the school it was my 10 years old and our physical training a teacher was not respectful at all that's why no one did any exercise everyone was screaming in class like it was not proper physical education in my school we had two different time zones only sport people who was doing some activities after school can go for a class at 8 a.m. and I wanted to be one of them but I got pretty fat at my 10 years old. I was trying to go and after one month they kicked me out and called me white bird, like I cannot do anything. <laughs> so I stopped trying for the year. Sixth grade, actually I went for the singer class. It's also with some activities just to me to change my timing. I did it anyway. So I was going for the basketball as well. We had four years basketball at school. I never went for training, but I was always going physical training class. All my classes, what I was missing, it was swapping for physical training. After this, it was my physical university, physical training school. It was the best four years because we had a lot of different activities. And even during this time, I got some certification like group class certification. My main profile was physiologist and basketball teacher. I did in total eight years of basketball, all kinds of activities, what can be. We all pass it through like 12, 14 hours daily five six days per week we had it and also we had during this four years training in summer camp we have ski competition we had a lot of concourse which we always was winning like we we was the best group in like all university later after university i directly started gym and i had my work gym and home like on circle it was my life about next one year just work gym home work gym home i did power lifting never did diet in my life <laughs> and i was eating ice cream every day i remember it's not about this fitness journey okay 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 i have my record and my um, place first place squat competition it was 73 kg on three reps it was my 19 years old i win of course <laughs> after i stopped i think for the year it was some consequences in my life which you will see in other video my life journey my life story then later I moved to Kiev and I started to work in small gym maybe for two weeks and I met my future ex-husband yeah he had also one small gym in Turkey so it was comfortable and easy to understand each other even we didn't know language but because of my experience in all physical education I take over the small gym, gym there and later we opened big one and second one so we had huge gym even now you can type mad sport the club mad sport love club. to everyone so i got maybe five extra education spinning step aerobic i was running classes there three classes in the morning three classes in the evening did also bodybuilding did some personal training education there in turkish language it was my first personal trainer education in that time after this i started my pt classes with some girls there i changed some girls some lives 
I didn't have too much clients. I was more concentrated on business. So uh, more it was for group class and business, not for a personal trainer. But later when I moved out from Turkey, I understand that I want to move to Dubai and do my other fitness stuff. I got my first certification in TV from T. The 16 classes, I got it in one month. In one month, I learned how to do CV, did some interview here in Dubai and move here. I started to work, by the way, with Yelena Katichka. Love you so much. We still work in same place. Like this years was splitting <laughs> us around, but now I can see her every day. First three days in Dubai, we was working together. But after I, when I realized they gonna close soon, they not provide any visas and stuff. Directly after three days in Dubai, I started to look for other job. I found other gym. It was ladies gym, a JOT X cluster. Only ladies allowed. I was doing every day classes with girls. I learned new stuff from me as a kettlebells, circle workout. <laughs> I learned, I did insanity with Sean T there, Pilates, everything actually. But they still, they was not going to give me visa because it's like time part job. Even that I was going like four or five hours daily there, group classes, oh my God, sweaty, Ramadan soon starts, oh my, <laughs> whatever. I was searching for the second job just to be legal here in Dubai. I got perfect job. It was in Decathlon shop, Merdiv City Center, thanks to Summer, Summer manager. He took me, he gave me good opportunities to work in fitness section with nutrition and port closes. So I got a lot of experience in English language about nutrition. We was doing training, we was going uh, different kind of promotion around the mall, around Dubai. I got really good experience from there. I stayed there four months. After when I resigned, there was a period that one week I was trying to find the best work. Before I started working in Decathlon, I got a lot of interviews and I have done a lot of interviews, but some companies wasn't open yet. And in that time, that company was already open. It was calling Flip Out Dubai. I came there, they just like one month open. I started to work there as a Marshall, just the person who's controlling kids around, who's jump, the kids jumping on trampoline everywhere around, and I'm just controlling them. Oh my God, I remember even first day, it was not even close with fitness. It was like, yeah, it's sport one, but for me first day when I just see the kids around and no any action from Marshall's side, I was like, oh my God, it's gonna be next two, three years in Dubai, like this, no way. <laughs> it was pretty funny, but next day when guys, girls told me how to do flips, how to have fun there, I realized that, oh, it's really totally new from what I was doing before and I wanna try it. months I broke my leg I still didn't got my visa because I had banned from labor office I couldn't get new one so thanks to this flip out they was very good with me they they paid for all my medical treatment they paid for all my visit visa still I got my approval to work here in Dubai and got my resident visa. They was doing great job. I learned a lot with them. I was doing not only martial job. This some period of time, I got a lot of ideas. I told to my manager that I wanna do PT here. I wanna do group classes here. I wanna do PT with special kids. I wanna do new stuff. So this time I grow. I opened my own class. I did a lot of things around. I was really happy. And in same time, I was working as a group class trainer still in that gym too. It 
got close and from 2017 in summer time I started gym <laughs> thanks to my assistant rice. manager and rice. general manager Shane Mouse they pushed me literally because when I got my um, broken ankle um, I got fat and I relaxed of course come on when you lying down always or uh, going on crunches taking pills you just dead but even with that time I was keep doing my PT session and I was keep going my group classes just I didn't do insanity or step aerobic I was doing Pilates even with this ankle I was sitting stretching a lot and flip out I was doing some handstand headstand splits I was doing everything what will keep me active but still I got fat when I lost the fat it was because of bad also thanks to other manager of Decathlon Hassan he pushed me to have a bed with him and lose weight and I did it um, then later I understand that I'm already skinny but no shape like I was 60 kg and no shape so I started gym it was HQ fitness gym I met my future trainer I met uh, around people who and also girls who was coming in flip out the mother of kids what I was working out or the girls who was coming to my group classes they also wanted PT with me so I started slowly take these girls for the PT in HQ fitness gym and also I was doing some group classes at Marina area or other open air places which is allowed to do free workout in Dubai slowly I got my five girls for PT and I realized that oh I already almost set up for be as a freelance PT so I will resign from flip out and I'm gonna start work as a PT here in Dubai I always had a plan. For me, plan is much important. You put the plan and you just keep doing what you're doing. Be the best of you and you will reach what you want to reach. Hello everyone, my name is Yulia. I'm a personal trainer and I'm working in Dubai. So enjoy, eat life. well, train well. Thank you guys. Keep so in that time I reached my I numbers life. of clients. I already have done like three seasons of my competition and I already have done things for keep me as a freelance have more free time for myself do my PT earn similar money and to have time to get more clients to get more money when I wanted to resign flip out told me that they are gonna shut down so wait for it and just wait two three months more you will just go and do whatever you want in clear way like without any consequences that I resign or something without cancellation visa without anything I was pretty like 5 of December 2019 it was the first my day off in Dubai literally I was going three different work I was going a lot of physical activities I was going some education in same time I got my power plate education when I was already here in Dubai so and I got my um, dietology certification also when I was here already in Dubai and I keep learning new stuff and I want to learn and go other kind of knowledges for me for now I'm learning something which will help me to push my sport level to in highest position. Girls, I have only one folder. You know, all my main stuff, it's in Ukraine, in my apartment, under the bed. <laughs> so what I have here? Oh, everything what I got. Maybe less, maybe more. Medal, IFDB medal, creamy shoe competition, best sports person, and more. Hip Hop 2006, <laughs> all medals. One of them also was in my car, old car. I'm not sure what is it. Hmm. I just thought will not tell everything. I'm laughing because I didn't earn it. A lot of diplomas, diplom, certification, gym instructor, certification, gym instructor. Julia Saho. My name at Facebook you can see. Ah, Julia Saho. Saho means queen. That's why because of me, I'm queen.
<laughs> emergency first aid certification, first help certification. I have also a small idea. Certificate, personal trainers. Oh my god, how many certification of personal trainer I have? Loma, one, two, three. Yeah, it's 2017. Mm -hmm. Gramata, basketball, basketball, first place, first place, first place, basketball, Pashemice. In Ukrainian language it means first place. Other, I also have picture of it. Matt Yulia. My last name was Matt and I was married. So Matt Yulia. Power plate certification. The Power Plate Based Fitness Academy. 2017. 2011. Intel. Intel certification. Don't know what is it, if true. <laughs> Oh my god. Everything what I'm teaching you girls, it's just like by time, proved by me and my girls. I have this crazy experience, that's why I can assure you that I'm telling what I know and what exactly works. Ah, bungee jump certification. I did bungee jump instructions. Time Swabotn. 18 years old. Fitness Bikini Championship. Thank you for participating. <laughs> Fourth place, fifth place, Diamond Cup Ukraine. Arnold Classic, thank you for coming. I hope see you again. <laughs> Lebanon Diamond Cup 2019, second place. And I also have my trophy. But now I'm using this as a makeup folder. <laughs> I was also from Diamond Cup, fifth place. What I have more? Ooh, it's got broken. Yeah, when I was moving, it just fell down. Dubai Muscle Show 2018 Fitness and Fashion Competition. There was 33 girls <laughs> and I took real? third place. Mrs. Fit fitness Bikini Model. Girls and I was super happy because other two Woo! girls, I'm still talking to them and they're amazing actually. Yay. But they're coaches oh, yeah. and judges, judges so I cannot blame. And Thanks God you, that baby. I got third place. I'm happy for my experience, really. Oh, it's in my city. It's fifth place. And Kremich. You see, here was also fingers of makeup, what we was doing. Oh my God. <laughs> third place. Also, fitness bikini. Oh my God, this all what I got for the past couple years. What can be later? One more diploma. This I earned it. My best. Diploma. Pedagogic medicine physical training. Physical culture is the book qualification of the physical culture. I'm a teacher, teacher of physical training, and also I think I translated in English for Dubai. Yeah, it was approved and test uh, translated in English language. More I have if I thought so. It's documents for the personal training. One more diploma, third place, fitness bikini. Girls, I was good in posing, but fortunately, genetic is genetic. First aid book when I was studying. By the way, it's a nice book. If someone needs it, just tell me. Put the comment down and I will give you. Passport, no passport. <laughs> VIP pass, 2019. VIP pass was giving me access to more than 40 gyms in Dubai. Yeah, 2019. That's why I tried all of gyms and I created last year three best gym in Dubai, on my opinion, the best ones, really. And Turkish citizenship. I had my own gyms there, right? Mad Sport Club, by the way. This is the gym. Mad Sport Club. Member card. Mad Yulia, Mad Sport Club. It's reps. I, ah, one more VIP pass. Two. I had two VIP passes. Three VIP passes. And also Fitness HQ membership. Oh, I've been going to Fitness HQ more than two years. And now I'm in Dina's gym. I also prefer that gym, by the way. Like, nice one. First aid certification. It was the license. 2016. 13 of December 2016. I got my emergency first aid plus the fight and CPR. And CPR even. So I have it. I think it should be renewed every year. Anyway, 2016, maybe I should renew. This license of reps, Dubai certification. Every personal trainer in Dubai for work legal should be registered in reps. Reps is like physical community in Dubai. So they're giving you passport and they asking you to pay yearly membership there as a 400 dirhams it's around 110 dollars you should have personal trainer certification to have 
um, A level category. If you have B level or other level, here this shows personal trainer has A certification. If you are gym instructor, just gym instructor, then you have B certification. If you group class instructor pre, um, here is group class, yoga instructor, pilates instructor, pilates. So I got this all, I've been personal training, the highest level. So category A, rep certification. Girls, don't relax. Keep doing what you're doing. Small story about my life. You have your own story and based on it, learn how to create yours in the best way. Girls, thank you for watching. See you very, very, very soon in my next video. Put likes if you like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm gonna see you very, very quickly.